Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's math tutorial I'm going to teach you how to insert geometric means between two non-consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. So for today's problem we are going to find the geometric means between two non-consecutive terms and our example is Okay, so for our example, we are going to insert insert three geometric means between 16 and 81 okay so to solve this problem we're going to use the formula of geometric sequence which is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1 so this is our formula of geometric sequence then we will write a sequence using 16 and 81 by inserting three spaces between 16 and 81 So we have now our sequence and the three spaces between 16 and 81 represents our geometric sequence. Then we will write our given. So our a sub 1 equals 16. Then our last term which is 81 that is now our a sub 5 so our a sub 5 equals 81 then the number of terms n equals 5 and our common ratio r is unknown so we will just write again our sequence 16 then 3 spaces and 81 so we will rewrite our formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1 then our a sub n is that is now our a sub 5 since there are five terms after we insert three terms between 81 and 16 or rather 16 and 81 so our a sub 5 is 81 so a sub 5 times a sub 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 then substitute 81 our a sub 5 and then 16 our a sub 1 then r to the power of 4 that is 5 minus 1 so we have now our equation 81 equals 16 times r to the power of 4 since we are going to solve our r then we are going to cancel out of 16 so here we are going to apply multiplication property of equality so that the numerical coefficient of r becomes 1. So we will apply multiplication property of equality or MPE. So in short, we will divide 16 here and 16 also. 81 divided by 16. So consider out 16 and 16. Then what is left is 81. 
So if you try to reduce to Lewis term, you are going to find the common between 81 and 16. Since there is no common between 81 and 16, so as is. Okay, we will just rewrite our equation. So R to the 4 equals 81 over 16. Then, we are going to find the fourth root of 81 over 16. So, we will extract the fourth root of R to the 4 to cancel out the exponent 4 and then the fourth root of 81 over 16. So, cancelled out 4. What is left now is 4 R and then the fourth root of 81. So, when we say fourth root of a number, you think of a number in which when you multiply it by itself four times, the answer is 81. So to do it, you can start at 1 and that is by uh, trial and error. So say for example 1, you multiply 1 four times by itself. So 1 times 1 is 1 times 1, 1 and 1 times 1 is one. So, meaning to say that 1 to the 4th is 1. Next, 2. We will try 2. So, 2 times 2, 4. 4 times, four times 2, 8. And then, 8 times 2, 16. So, we have here 16. So, meaning to say that the fourth root of 16 is is 2. So we have already our answer for our 16. Then for 81. So next is 3. So we will try 3. So 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. So 27 times 3 is Meaning to say that a number that will be multiplied four times by itself is 3. So the fourth root of 81 is 3. The fourth root of 16 is 2. So our common ratio now is 3 over 2 or 3 halves. So we are ready now to find our geometric sequence, uh, rather geometric means between 16 and 81 by multiplying our common ratio to 16 and so on so our r is 3 over 2 and then we will find our second term here so this is our a sub 2 the second term. so a sub 2 a sub 3 a sub 4 this is our a sub 1 and a sub 5. So if you try to find a sub 2, that is equal to a sub 1 times r. So a sub 1 times r equals 16 times 3 over 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So our a sub 2 is 24. That is our second term. Then a sub 3 equals a sub 2 times r. Then 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. So our a sub 3 is 36. Then a sub 4. A sub 4 equals 36 times 3 over 2 then 36 divided by 2 is 18 18 times 3 is 54 so our a sub 4 is 54 now if you want to check whether the next term is 81 so we will 
find a sub 5 so that is 54 times 3 over 2 then 54 divided by 2 is 27 then 27 times 3 is 81 okay, so we are correct so we are done already finding our geometric mean so we will Therefore, the geometric means between 16 and 81 are 24. 36 and 54 okay so i hope you have followed our solution the step-by-step -step solution in finding the geometric geometric means between two non-consecutive terms and uh, you can now s uh, solve for other problems involving inserting geometric means so this is your teacher sir ababa saying in every problem in math there is always a solution thank you for watching and have a good day but before you forget if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that and click the notification bell so that you will be updated for my next video tutorial thank you very much god bless you.